Hi guys, welcome back. I have a brand new minecart station in a box for you guys. I call this one version 3.0. It is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. It uh, has a completely different arrivals and departures area. Uh, instead of having a concentrated uh, area where the arrivals come in and the departures leave, uh, this has four spokes going out in each direction and uh, the carts are routed around these loops. Got a, the loop on the outside is the arrivals loop. Each cart is routed onto this loop where it uh, goes around the station until it uh, kicks back over to the uh, the uh, selection area and then when you depart you uh, travel on the inner loop and uh, you're routed past various track pieces that will kick you off uh, when you pass the direction that you selected so uh, I'll show you quickly how it works if you hit south you'll be kicked off towards the south if you hit east you'll bypass the south and you'll be kicked off that way and if you hit north, that will switch back. That one stays switched ahead. And this one will turn, so you get kicked off. And with the west, um, all three of them are uh, switched so that you pass straight through. And you pass straight through this little track area here, and you're sent off to the west. Um, I am not doing four different versions of this station because um, I have the directions and uh, the, the north, south, east, west written up there and it needs to stay in that configuration. You look at the cobblestone block here, if you can read that L, then that's north and it's pointed in the right direction and all these track pieces should stay in their proper position. If you try to rotate this, I think it would mess all this stuff up. So. Um, Let's uh, take a little tour. Oh, this this I can almost bypass this part. We are now using uh, door booster technology um, from uh, Blue, Blue, whatever his name was. And uh, I'm not 100% convinced with this yet. Um, I'm having some troubles getting it to work uh, consistently um, in the tutorials I think it shows this track piece uh, slanted up but I can never get it to stay up there it always um, pops back down either because I have redstone too close or for some other reason but it seems to work just like this this falls around down right beside it and uh, seems to work uh, most of the time anyway and then this one just cycles around and goes back down alright so we still have the um, pressure plate and the button need to be pressed together to activate the door and uh, I have two pressure plates here uh, because they were going so fast it was bypassing the first pressure plate and uh, rolling down the track very slowly so I added another dummy pressure plate this does nothing other than to uh, stop the cart so um, occasionally if you go past the first um, plate or you push yourself off and you try to try to go somewhere here it's not going to work because you're not activating the first pressure plate so just make sure you're on the first one and uh, you choose the direction you'd like to go and let's choose south and we are kicked off towards the south and uh, the other innovation is what you see to the left there and that is a satellite station and you can place these uh, either at the end of the spokes or you could even uh, have a long line of these stretching out for as far as you want and you just keep uh, clicking go ahead or go back you're routed into the same kind of area and I have a sign up here that says back or ahead if you hit back you'll be sent behind you I have this little loop here and sent right back into the station 
And if you're sent ahead, you're sent ahead. And I'll travel back to the hub. So you can uh, take these satellites and uh, place them around the world and in various locations, or even you could even place out another hub down here and have more spokes going on. So it's rather versatile. And uh, I think that's about it as far as what I wanted to show you. Um, got all the same kind of. Uh, redstone circuitry down there. Each of these uh, three has an RS door latch associated with it and a track piece and the last one just resets them all so you just bypass them all. So um, here's one of the RS door latches in fact. It's a kind of a different uh, looking design but uh, it still works pretty good. Alright so this is the redstone mess. Um, Let's see if there's anything down here worth showing you guys, other than just kind of a confusing little tangle of circuitry. And uh, I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, I got it pretty well lit up for you guys. Uh, I got the uh, lightstone blocks in the ceiling so you don't get any mobs spawning above you, theoretically. And uh, so it's Pretty cool, I think. And I hope that it, uh, hope that you guys use it and uh, enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you find any bugs. I keep finding bugs because I keep kind of I adjust a little thing here and then I'll kick screw it up. So uh, let me know if there's any problems and I'll be uh, happy to fix that as soon as possible. I'll go ahead and show you guys quickly um, how to. Uh, import the schematics using MC Edit. Um, here's one I just plopped down uh, the central hub and the uh, satellite and I'll go ahead and add another satellite off to the right there. And I will exit out of here. We'll open up uh, MC Edit and we'll reopen that world. Stuff has changed since the last time I was there. So here we are where we just were, and we're going to add another uh, satellite station off to the right here. And uh, we'll probably need to show you how to do the uh, inversion. There's one piece of track when you rotate that we'll need to invert, and it's not that big a deal. Go ahead and hit Import, and we'll select the satellite station. We got the uh, central hub station and the satellite station. They're uh, imported the same way, and uh, so you have it kind of hooked up to your mouse here, and just kind of place it somewhere close, and then you'll use the nudge to uh, fine tune it. And also, we probably need to rotate this one. So let's hit uh, rotate once, and uh, this is kind of the uh, the front door there and it's kind of set up where the ahead would lead you back to the um, station so I kind of like to have this front door facing me and the station on the right doesn't really matter but uh, so we'll kind of uh, nudge it up and kind of push it back a little bit more and you can kind of Get as accurate as you want here. I'll just get it relatively close. And uh, I'll go ahead and call that good. Obviously, you'd want it a little bit farther away. But uh, then you go ahead and hit import. Make sure you hit import after you do that, or it won't do any good. And then uh, go ahead and place our player right here on the entrance so then we can. Uh, make the bridge back across. So we're all imported and now we need to save it. So let's save here and wait for it to finish. And we'll head into Minecraft.
And then here we are where we just placed ourselves. There's the, the old hub. And I'm going to lose my light here, so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to be quick. Um, let's go ahead and um, I want to do the bridge first. Oh, I don't know if you guys need to see what a bridge looks like. So, that's yeah, great. Let's um, let's uh, show you how to adjust it. Like my sign says, this should be turning left. The problem is when you import it, it's not at its default position. So when you hit the ahead button, that should be pointing ahead. It is. Let's try it the other way. All right. See now that didn't switch. So what happens if we hit ahead again? Ah, there you go. So now it's at its default. Once you hit these back and forth a couple times, it kind of sets the default. So if we hit ahead, we should be routed to the left here. We are not. So if this piece is not turning left after you hit the buttons a few times, then we need to invert it. If these get messed up, which they don't appear to have changed because uh, I guess it's not a redstone issue, so they're not, not going to switch, uh, we're good. And this one should be turning off to the left. And just get rid of these signs when you Sure, I did. So to invert the torch, come down here, um, and this is the torch that you want to invert. You want to have it off so it turns the other way now. Sometimes you'll want it on, sometimes you want it off, depending on how the station is rotated. So I kind of put the sign at an awkward place, but to invert, you just want to replace the sign with the torch. You don't want to put it on the ground here, you want to put it on the side. So go ahead and remove that and place the torch there. And then uh, remove the redstone on the back of this block. So once you do that, it uh, should be good. Maybe remove that first and then place the torch so it doesn't do that goofy, glitchy thing. But the upside is we should be uh, back to normal. Go ahead and kind of reset it a couple times just to make sure it's working. So we hit ahead. And we are routed ahead. So this station is now up and running. And um, I'll go ahead and show you how to fix the boosters if they get messed up like this. I'm not sure if I did that or if it was uh, imported that way, but uh, if for some reason these get messed up, all you do is. Oops, I got too much crap. Get rid of something. All right. So if they get messed up, all you do is you place a, uh, it's actually easier from over here. Oh. To restart booster, stand here, place cart on far track, and place another on near track next to first. So place a, a uh, cart here, and then you want to place the other one right next to it on the slanted. And make sure you're out of the way, because they're going to come flying at you. First one gets cycled back down to where it was, and the uh, the second one yeah, lands on the door, ready to boost you away. So that should be all the technical uh, adjustments you need to make. Um, like I said before, the station needs to stay orientated uh, according to the signs on each exit. So just make sure it's uh, pointing the right way and everything should be good there. So uh, let me know if you guys have any uh, troubles, and I'll uh, try to give you a fix right away. And uh, also let me know if you uh, use this in the world, and maybe send me some screenshots or a movie. I'd be uh, thrilled to see it actually in use. And as always, uh, please comment and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And check out my uh, LP series. I'm going to. Uh, create a station similar to this and uh, actually very similar except it's going to have a water ladder going right through the middle of it in my uh, survival island episode so if you're curious how this actually all goes together um, tune in for that and uh, you can see me virtually pulling my hair out as I try to get everything to work so uh, check that out and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.